Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you guys are new here. My name is Jenna. Welcome to our July plan with me video. And I'm extra excited for this because we kind of have little to no goals that we're gonna do for the month of July. Listen you guys, summer just started. It's mid-year. We've officially gone through six months of the year and I just feel like it's a good time to kind of take a step back from goal setting and just kind of enjoy the beginning of the summer. So I'm really excited for this video. Even though we don't have many goals to show, I'll still show you guys what goals we accomplished last month and what content I am planning for the month of July. I'll show you guys like a little books and media hub update, but more or less, if you want just kind of like an overall checking in on 2024 video, not so much like the planning portion, but more so checking in on the year. Oh my gosh. Check out my everyday makeup routine where I really just spoke to you guys for like 17 minutes straight about the big areas and like big goals of 2024 for me and like how everything's going. I feel like this video might be a little bit shorter, but I hope you guys are okay with that. It's the summer. I still kind of like got ready a little bit. I have my romper on. This is from Love Bonito. Because it's chill vibes for this plan with me, it's summer, I'm sitting on my bed. Oh, and of course I'm gonna show you guys my bullet journal, my planner for 2024. My habits and moods for June and then my July theme, I'm so excited. But I actually do wanna check in about this too cause I'm kind of in a pickle about my bullet journal. So we'll do that second. How about first we just check in on 2024 goals and look at everything together. Cause I did update my notion, but I won't go into too much depth. Also, it's Saturday. I feel like I usually film these like after work or before work. So I'm in like an extra chill mood today as I film this plan with me, which is perfect for summer. This is my notion. I love this so much. I love, I feel like I say this every single month. I just love the theme that I chose for my banners of my 2024 notion. It just feels very like warm and happy, but calm. I love it. Let's go to our yearly goals. Again, I'm not really gonna like go into too much depth. I just wanna show you more or less like the progress and what I was able to check off from last month. So I basically just overall checked off all of my half year progress things. Because if you guys have been watching my plan with me videos, I feel like a lot of my yearly goals are like kind of big ticket items that it's kind of hard to check off throughout the year. So they're just kind of like blank all the way through the year until the end. So I made myself like a bunch of little like half year progress check marks for reading at least 10 books. Halfway through that, I'm working on Korean every single month, which is true. My Korean goals overall, you guys know I'm doing a Korean course, my second Korean course this upcoming month in July. So I'll be doing that. I refreshed my morning routine, journaling. I actually do have an update, but I did buy a new journal that has like prompts and stuff. Oh, that's in the next vlog. So I won't really talk about it too much here. Traveling to three new cities, which is true. I technically already did that. I'm gonna check that off. But I am going to Puerto Rico. Health and fitness is all in a pretty good place. I was able to check off the San Diego Rock and Roll Half Marathon, which I did in the beginning of June. And then half year progress for being consistent with my exercise routine. You guys know I'm always pretty good about that. I kind of feel like I put that goal on my health and fitness just like to know that I'll check it off. But I feel like prioritizing my exercise is just literally something that's like ingrained in my character. So it's not really something I like want to necessarily improve or grow on. It's just something I want to maintain, which I think is a goal in itself. And then take one video off a month, tracking my income, use a budget. That's something that I've been actually maintaining all year. I cannot believe I'm like halfway through the year and I've actually kept up a budget. This is like the first year ever in my life that I've actually maintained tracking all of my expenses and stuff. So I'm really proud of myself for that. Launch one new Jage collective item. I'm in the process of renewing our crew necks. And then I do have a new plan for like a hat that I want to do. So that's something that's in progress, but haven't completed it yet. No working overtime. I'm really good about that. I'm like, I can't be bothered about my nine to five job, you guys. Like I just, it's not that I don't care. I just like, it's truly just, just a job. And why would I work overtime at that? <laughs> you know? And then save $10,000. And I am actually, I'm going to change this. I'm going to make this 15,000 because my half year progress was that I was able to save $10,000 and that's a culmination of like my nine to five job bonuses and my YouTube income. So I just want to say thank you because I feel like I would not be able to save that type of money if it weren't for you guys also supporting me in my channel. So just thank you guys for watching the ads. I've gotten some comments that some of you like purposely will leave the ads on during my ad breaks. Watching the ads when you're watching my videos like really, really does go such a long way. And it just really gives me that added support. So I just really want to say thank you for supporting me my channel always. Not just watching the videos or the vlogs or commenting, but also watching the ads. It really does go a long way because that's actually how I make money from like the AdSense. So just thank you. Okay. And that's everything. So for my monthly breakdown for July, I wrote enjoy travel, oh, not travel. <laughs> I wrote travel here. 
enjoy summer <laughs> enjoy summer travel and have some pto i guess like those are kind of in one i just want july to be like not focused on my goals i don't really want to like improve necessarily anything this year i set a good foundation for everything that i feel like i'm growing so far in 2024 like i have my crane class booked i started my marathon training I feel like I'm in a pretty good place just kind of overall with life. So I just want to enjoy July and summer for what it is. Okay, so pretty quick, but we're going to go to our monthly goals. Let's go over our June goals. I feel like it's really important to when you're planning for the month ahead, whether you're making one goal or zero goals or five goals, it's so important to have these monthly check-ins with yourself. Like I do this to show you guys what goals I have and what videos I'm planning and stuff, but I feel like it's just truly just as important to reflect on what you actually were able to grow on or accomplish or what you struggled with, with what your intentions and goals were from the last month. Like I just feel like it's a good way to kind of ground yourself, check in with yourself and know where you're at. So having said that, I think it is important to change our goals if we feel like the month is going not in the way that we expected. And that shows in my first goal. My goal initially was to read Just for the Summer by Abby Jimenez. And for some reason, I just like didn't really read it yet. It's loaded on my Kindle. I think since I knew I had upcoming travel, like Just for the Summer is like the perfect I hope, vacation book. I like wanted to save it, I feel like for Puerto Rico. So I have that saved. I didn't read Just for the Summer, but I did read one book and I'll show you guys that in the Books and Media Hub update. Prioritize no phone in bed. I checked this off I would say like I did it like 60% of the time like I wasn't really that good but I feel like I was okay I think what I need to do is start charging my phone like not next to my bed but like my phone is my alarm clock and I just don't really want to get one of those hatch alarm clocks like I just don't I don't know if you guys have any suggestions let me know more social plans aside from dinner so like coffee walks journal dates etc I think there were two times this month where I did coffee walks where like we got a friend and I got coffee and then we just walked around like wherever we were if you do have a friend that like you would like to see more or you have a friend that is just like so busy that you feel like you can't book something with them so just a coffee walk like a pre-work day like 7 a.m coffee walk that's also a really good use to budget how much money you're spending on coffee because it's more so like an experience that you're spending not just like buying coffee to like go buy it and then go drive home so i really like coffee walks it's really the only time that i'll actually buy coffee too if i'm doing it socially definitely love my coffee walks health and fitness rock and roll half marathon in san diego i did have like a whole san diego vlog check that out if you guys haven't watched it it's like one of my favorite videos i just love it so much and i feel like i spoke about this too much i won't say this again but the half marathon was just really healing and i'm really excited for marathon training create my marathon training plan i did do that and i'm actually finishing up right now week one of my 18 week block of marathon training i'll put like a little screen grab right here of a preview of what my marathon training looks like it's really similar to my speed project training plan i just really liked the layout of it it's on google sheets it's just like a calendar version of google sheets and i'm following the hal higdon novice 2 marathon training plan that's 18 weeks long finishing up week one of 18 it's literally crazy because the marathon is at the end of October and it's literally June and then cook two new summer recipes I did do that I made a burger bowl and I made like a rice cooker meal prep those were both so good and I actually was vlogging both times that I made those two meals so check out my vlogs if you haven't and they were both just really good I really would make both of those again especially the burger bowl well especially both of them honestly the rice cooker meal prep is so easy because you just throw everything in the rice cooker and you don't really have to touch it burger bowl is really good because it's just like very light and fresh but it tastes like a burger it's really really good okay for korean learning study korean course materials and sign up for another course like i said earlier i am taking the next level which is beginner level three of my korean course that i'm taking online which is called like a korean it actually starts next week which i'm really excited for i think it's 12 classes six weeks can't remember but it's just the next level of the course that i just finished so i just really like the course i spoke about this in a recent vlog but i just really feel like spending the money on getting a language course is for me personally like the only way that i feel like i've actually been able to learn more any other year in my life especially having so many responsibilities it's just kind of like one less thing i have to be self-motivated for so but you guys have already heard that lastly for financial no more than 300 dollars on shopping I'll, I'll get to it and then save $1,000. So yes, I spent more than $300 on shopping, but I'm actually gonna put right here everything for shopping. It's fine. I like barely went over, but last month you guys know I went crazy with the shopping. I will say I got a newly subscription, which is around like $100 a month, but I'm doing a discount right now where I get like $15 off for the first 
two or three months so it's around $86 for six items each item is like around $100 each so newly has just been actually really good I used to be really against truthfully clothing subscription things just because I was like I'm not gonna spend that much money anyways you guys know I spent a lot of money last month on shopping so I was like okay I'm going to try to remove or like decrease my shopping amount by getting a subscription I'm like traveling I had a wedding I am going to a bachelorette party like I had a lot of things this summer in general that I felt like justified getting a clothing subscription I'm just gonna have it for the summer and see how I feel at the end of the summer but newly is really good I'm gonna leave my like referral code it's not sponsored or anything but I'm gonna leave my referral code in the description box newly is so good if you have a trouble wanting to wear trendy items of clothing but not wanting to like buy it or you don't want to wear something more than once a lot of the time try out newly it is so good i'm like actually amazed at how good that service is with newly i did buy a couple of things that put me over the edge of 300 but it wasn't crazy i think it was like 400 dollars or something it's fine only because i was still able to save 1000 dollars. and i think once i had hit that 300 dollars threshold of like my budget for shopping i was like okay i was like i'm going to save money right now i'm not going to wait until the end of the month i'm just going to throw money into my savings usually i just wait until the end of the month so that i can actually kind of like close everything out and save Save as much as I can but I just threw in that thousand dollars I was like I can't I need to make sure that like I'm not gonna go overboard which I didn't just a little bit over and I was still able to save overall and I think that's the goal of budgeting you hit your savings goals and then you have light goals for your other variable expenses but like if it doesn't hit it or you go over you learn from it so I did learn from it at least I was still able to save right <laughs> well those are all of my June goals I hope you guys liked that little recap now for July, again, I'm not really setting any goals. Like I really just made, like I could just check all of these off right now if I wanted to. Like I'm going to just enjoy my travel. I'm going to continue my marathon training plan. I'm going to take my Korean course that I already signed up for and paid for. And I'm going to maintain my budget. I guess like maintaining my budget is the only thing that I actually like really have to hold myself accountable for. But like travel, I'm gonna do no matter what. Marathon training, I don't really have to self-motivate too much. I'm usually pretty disciplined with my exercise routine anyways. Korean I already paid for. So if you wanna make zero goals, like to me, this is like zero goals. I feel like overall my goal for July is to just enjoy the summer and I think that's kind of the best goal I could give myself. I feel like I've worked a lot on my goals in the first half of the year. It's like kind of granted or like I feel like I've earned a good break from goal setting and develop self-development, self-growth, all that stuff. And so yeah, I'm just kind of saying that if anybody else feels like burnt out from making goals or you don't really feel like making them, it's July. It's summer. You don't need to make goals every single month. Okay, that's everything for my monthly goals. Ooh, I've been speaking for a long time. <laughs> this might still be just as long as my typical plan with me videos, but but anyways, let's go to the Books and Media Hub because here is the book that I was able, oh wait, we're gonna go to books and then this is the book that I was able to read in the month of June. I read Love in the Time of Medical School by Sarah Epstein. This is a book that had been on my list probably for the last year and I truthfully regret not reading it a year ago. I feel like the advice that Sarah Epstein gave in this book was mainly catered towards partners of medical students that were like the beginning or even pre-medical school so for me reading it it was really nice but I feel like I gave it three stars just because I feel like I didn't really learn too much from it personally my boyfriend Thomas is in medical school as you guys know and he's currently in his third year and fourth year rotations he's a third year right now and I guess I just feel like a lot of the advice about like anything prior to third year was more so like stuff I couldn't really do anything about because that time had already passed and then and then any advice or anything from the book that was addressed for third year fourth year or residency i guess nothing felt like groundbreaking to me personally but i would recommend it still which is why i gave it three stars like if i didn't like it at all i would give it just two i do think it was good i just wish i read it sooner because maybe it would have helped me like a year ago or two years ago but it was really good but really i'm excited for just for the summer i just really want to read that book i'm like mad at myself that i didn't read it like right away i guess i just knew that i read part of your world and yours truly like so fast that i knew i would read just for the summer in like a couple of days so i feel like i'm saving that for my vacation and i'm really excited because abby Hemnes is so good okay and then i also updated my movies and shows i did actually watch a lot of stuff in june you guys know i'm like not very good at watching stuff but thomas and i finished abbott elementary season two if you guys watch Abbott Elementary, please comment down below because I really want to know who else watches it. I feel like people don't talk about it, but it's like one of the best shows right now, I feel like. If you're someone that likes The Office or even like Friends, like very classic shows like that, 
Abbott Elementary is so freaking good. It's like so funny, it's documentary style, but like hilarious. And I love all the characters. And I also love the messages that they include in certain episodes. It is just like such a good freaking show. So you guys have to watch Abbott Elementary. And then of course, if you guys watch the vlogs, you guys know we watched Lovely Runner or Sonja Potio. We watched that so fast and I just think it's like my favorite Korean drama to date. It is such a beautiful love story. Oh my God, if you like Korean dramas, you have to watch it. I watched it on Vicky, but it's not on Netflix, unfortunately. I think it will be eventually, just not right now. Bridgerton season three. What did I give it? Yeah, I gave it two stars. I did not like it at all. I, I don't know why. Maybe it was because it was my first time watching it in real time of like part one and part two. So I didn't like that there was a break personally. It felt very choppy, but I also felt like the chemistry of the love interest wasn't that strong. I felt like the season wasn't really even about them. I didn't like the side stories. I didn't even read the books and I didn't like it. And apparently people who read the books were like really upset. So I don't know. I didn't like it. And then similar to things that I didn't like, Thomas and I also watched Challengers this month. And I spoke about this in a vlog. I won't like repeat myself too much. I just also didn't like it. I thought it was really overhyped and like they tried way too hard to make it like really artsy. Cool things that they did with like themes and stuff were very like obvious to me. So I don't know. I think I waited too long to watch it. And maybe if I saw it in theaters and like right away, I would have felt differently. But because I knew that like so many people thought it was amazing, I went into it like expecting it to be amazing. So I was just kind of let down. So yeah, I wrote overrated, gave it two and a half stars. But to end this on a good note, Thomas and I also watched Inside Out 2 this month. You guys have to watch it. That like fixed the rest of June for all the stuff that we didn't like. If you guys didn't even watch the first one, you don't even have to. I just thought it was so good. I just love the way that the character anxiety was portrayed and the introduction of other emotions too, but especially anxiety, it was just, I think really well done. And like, you could tell that it was very thoughtful of how to visually represent the character of that emotion. So I really liked it. And that's everything that we watched in June. So I didn't really read much, but I think it's because I was watching a lot. <laughs> that's everything for Notion. I feel like I've been yapping. Next, let's go to Rella. Okay, here's what I have planned for the month of July, you guys. We have our July plan with me. I'm gonna have like a very casual days in my life vlog this week. It's just gonna be chatting your ear off. It'll be a very, very chatty video just because it'll be probably like a one or two day vlog, but I didn't vlog at all this week and I feel like I have a lot of updates for you guys. So I have a chatty days in my life and a chatty Q and A. Okay, well, let me just remove chatty. It's just gonna be probably a Q and A in general because I haven't done one in the last like two months, I think. So I think we're overdue for a good Q and A. And I feel like that's a good thing for me to prepare before I go to Puerto Rico because that's when I'll be in Puerto Rico and then I have a work to live diaries video I do have a sponsored video coming up in the beginning of July and then I have a work to live diaries video in that video I'm going to talk more about like how I feel becoming a manager and like my reflection being a manager for one year so that's going to be in the beginning of the month Puerto Rico vlog I'm planning on vlogging that I have my nail routine in there because you guys know I'm doing really well with my like you guys this is regular polish can you believe that so I have a nail routine video I have another work to live diaries probably just like a summer work to live diaries video a weekend vlog and i do have an arlington apartment hunting video planned for the end of the month i'm currently in the process of touring a bunch of new apartments in arlington but i can't just tour them all in one day i actually toured two already out of the like four out of i think the four buildings that i want to go to and that video just takes forever to plan and actually film so i'm planning that for the end of the month and i know that there's no video or no week here where i have no video so i'm honestly not sure which one i won't do it'll just really depend on how the weeks actually go i feel I feel like maybe the Q&A will become my no video this month. And then of course our August plan with me at the end of July. Okay, I feel like I have nothing else to show you guys on Bella. I just really wanna show you my content. Oh, I'll show you what June looks like. This is how the finished month of June looks. I stopped using the to-do list features towards the end of the month, but when I needed to, I used it. And that's everything. Okay, pretty quick for Rella, but that is all of my content for July. Okay, I'm gonna stop the screen recording here and we're gonna end on the bullet journal, which I haven't done in a while. So I'm actually really excited. Here's where I'm at with the bullet journal, you guys. I love this doodle planner. I've been using it for a year and a half. This is my Shop Amanda Reachley doodle planner. But the truth is, here's what I'm finding. I love coloring this and I love that I'm able to like document my memories and everything. But I just feel like I don't use this that much throughout the actual work week. Like, look, I just... Like I don't really use it that much throughout the work week because I feel like a lot of my to-dos during the work week are pretty routine or they're just related to like my nine to five job and then I don't really do much after my nine to five job unless it's editing, which my to-do list for that is on Rella. So I feel like there's just kind of not much to do during the week on this. 
So mainly I use this for my habit and mood trackers and this is how they looked for the month of June. I feel like I did a really good job. This is overall a really, really good month. Like my moods have looked pretty good and pretty consistent and my habits look pretty good. It's just that this is kind of the only thing that I keep up with throughout the month. And then at the end of the month, I will print out some photos from my HP Sprocket and put them in here to kind of document our monthly memories. But then other than that, like I often just have to tell myself like I need to actually use this or else I just won't, which is fine. That's where I'm at with my bullet journal. Like I feel like I sometimes am wasting the weekly layouts because I just don't really use them that much or I feel like I only really use them on the weekend. So I'm not really sure. I'm kind of looking, I'm kind of debating having like a daily planner, but then the daily planner wouldn't have these like beautiful colors and doodles and stuff for me to use. And I do really like using the doodle planner to just color and like de-stress in general. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do yet. I'm not saying I'm not gonna use this next year, but I'm not saying I am gonna use this next year. We'll see. But having said that, I love what I did for July. I colored it this morning. Here's how it looks. Oh my God. I think it looks so good. I love the strawberries. I just think it's literally stunning. It's so pretty. Here's how the monthly layouts look. And then the empty habit and mood tracker. I love also, in June I started tracking 10K steps. Also that was new. And I just wanna say I really like tracking it. So you can see in June, here's what I had. Getting 10,000 steps if you're not like running, I think is actually really hard. So since I wasn't running much in June, I'm just going to track my steps. So I'm gonna do that. Probably again, I love the colors. I just think this looks so good. Just this overall theme, I love it. It's like strawberries. And then lastly, here's how the weekly layouts look. Truthfully, I still have the rest of the weeks to color, but they're all gonna look just like this. I think maybe I might change the color of like the days of the week for each of the different colors that I have in the palette. But here's how the first one looks. I love it. And that's everything for my bullet journal. Yeah, that's where I'm at. Let me know if you guys have any suggestions or anything or like, you know, we're just talking as friends, talking about our silly little planners and stuff. So comment anything, it doesn't have to be a suggestion. And that's what we have for the month of July. Okay, that wraps up this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this monthly plan with me. Very chill and relaxed. Let's just have a good summer. Enjoy the beginning of the summer. The beast has been with me this whole time. Make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. I post new videos twice a week in 2024. I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video. But until then, see you already.